Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Adams. I'm from TaylorMade Golf. I'm the program manager for retail product training. So we're really excited about the QI10 drivers this year. There's three different models. There's the Max, Standard, and the LS. Uh, really the Max is, is the hero product for this year. It has to do with going beyond the boundary and limitations that we have with designing a club that reacts for both speed and forgiveness. Typically there's always been a challenge with that because to design a driver just for speed and to design a driver just for forgiveness those are actually those are opposing forces and so with max we're able to actually say now that we've broken through that barrier of having to go towards one side of the spectrum or the other and we're actually able to provide a driver that combines the two together and we've reached and surpassed that boundary of getting to the 10,000 k moment of inertia rating with qi 10 max we're really excited because this is something new for us. We actually had to get out of our comfort zone. A lot of what required us to get to 10,000 K was changing the shape. And so with QI 10 Max, we've changed the shape. We've made it a little bit longer, about eight millimeters longer from front to back. That is actually putting us right at the USGA limit for sizing of the footprint pattern. A lot of people understand that there is a size limit of 460 cc's for drivers. That's very well established. People know that, but people also don't realize that there's actually a size limit for the presentation or the address size that a driver has. And there's a five by five box that the USGA limits us in being. Uh, and so now we've been able to design this head and stretch it out to that maximum amount of size. And so with that stretch size, that was one of the requirements of reaching an MOI of 10,000 was we actually needed to change the shape a bit. And that was a big departure from the classic pear-shaped tailor-made driver shape that a lot of customers have grown to be accustomed to with us. So this is really something unique for us. We're really excited. It is a situation where changing the shape actually does have a very functional purpose for that. And the, the second thing about getting to that 10,000 K MOI beyond just changing the shape, we needed to use more of our advanced materials. And so we're all familiar with that carbon face. However, we needed to use even more of the carbon fiber material. And that's where we have the infinity crown. So with the infinity crown, we're actually going to a 97% coverage of the entire crown. That is incredibly large amount of carbon fiber. And because of that, we're actually able to save a ton of weight and that we can move elsewhere in this head. The second thing is the actual weight distribution of the head. It's one of those things where you need to take the weight and blow it out all the way to the ends, almost like, you know, the Big Bang Theory where the, the atom explodes out to all the sides. We didn't want to just take weight and put it in one particular location. It had to be everywhere. And that was the whole idea of getting that MOI to 10,000 was we had to put weight throughout the entire head. So with this new larger uh, stretch shaped head, we're actually able to put weight all along the inside of the head. We have different weight pads, even from the, the toe to the heel. And then of course, all the way in the back. And we still have that carbon ring. That's even more pronounced in this. And that's really getting us to that, to that barrier that we've passed through with the 10,000 MOI. Now, when we move to the standard head, we start to drift back into a little bit more of that classic shaping that a lot of people are used to but we still have a little bit more of a, a modern, slightly larger sizing shape to that. This is also gonna provide a really good amount of forgiveness. And of course, with our face, the carbon face, we have a new third generation face on these drivers. One of the unique things about this new face design is in the past, we've always been with the carbon face and that's been handled very well, but the, the situation was we needed the stress of the face to be relieved more. Um, there were some issues that we wanted to be concerned about in designing this to make it more durable. So we have around the face on the inside of the head, we have what's called a supporting ledge or a collar system. That essentially is allowing more of a suspension of the face. So when you make a face this strong and it's able to be this fast, we really need something to help essentially absorb the shock. And so we were able to have this collar or this supported ledge to make the face even faster and even more durable. So we're very excited about that. Getting into the LS, this is something that really is gonna be for your high swing speed player, your collegiate athlete that's very strong, very high skilled player. 
This is a little bit different from our Stealth 2 Plus from previous year. This is gonna drop spin down about 200 to possibly 300 RPMs just alone. So this is a very, very low spin driver. Unique thing here is the new track system that we have. It is somewhat short. However, that's only because it's a little bit of a, a visual representation that it's covered up right here. It actually is the same length from heel to toe, but we have this new garage system here. And that is essentially having to benefit with the aerodynamic properties of this sole. Anytime you introduce a track system to the sole, it actually creates sort of an aerodynamic speed bump. We wanted to get rid of that. So we were able with the carbon fiber sole to create this garage system that if you do put it into the heel, it slides all the way in. So we have a little bit heavier weight, it's 18 grams here, and you can make this fade or draw bias. This goes back to the original pear-shaped driver design, the head-shaped design that a lot, of, a lot of people are accustomed to. So this is gonna be for your strongest players, players that really need to bring their spin down. You have your standard head, which is sort of the all-purpose driver, and then obviously you have your maximum 10K driver here that we really think a lot of people, this is the one that they wanna try out first. That's our whole tagline, is experience your drives in 10K. And so we really encourage a lot of players to try with the Max first and see where they are. But the benefit of all three of these models is that we work really hard to separate all three head models from a performance perspective. So fitters, you're really gonna be able to determine what player should be in what head because you're really gonna see performance gapping between these three heads and less clustered together. So we're really excited for fitters to really be able to utilize all three heads in the unique way that they're meant to. With the LS, we're, we're getting a lot of the, the feedback on tour is that, you know, surprisingly really low spin. Uh, Rory McIlroy, for instance, we automatically thought he would probably be in the LS. He actually switched into the standard core model. So the LS is, is really nothing to, to mess around with. It is a true low spin performing driver. We have the new track system that I had mentioned about it being a little bit more aerodynamic. The shaping is that traditional shaping as well. With the new face here, we wanted to do something. We, we took a departure for, away from the red. You know, red was, you know, relatively loud. We wanted to make sure that this was more of a clean, classic kind of simplified look. So with the cosmetics of the head, with the infinity crown, you'll notice that the titanium framework is now gone. It's still there. It's thinner, it's shallower, but the infinity crown now actually goes over this area. And so that provides us a very clean, unified, simplistic look. Tiger really, really loved the look of this. But when you get into a very dark head that really doesn't have much benefit for you to index the head to align it properly, what we did was we have this new top line feature in, at the top of the face. This allows the player, the customer, to really reference the face angle of the driver. And this is something that we brought in actually from the uh, Stealth 2 line of fairways. We actually incorporated this now in all our woods. And so that really helps the visual alignment. And then of course we have the twist face, which essentially is the, uh, the way to maximize gear effect on certain uh, aspects of the club wherever it's struck. So the LS has done very well. You know, we got close with Stealth, uh, Stealth Plus 2 with the, the forgiveness. You know, we were really reaching that where it's definitely designed for speed with a little bit of forgiveness. Now with the new Infinity Crown, we have just that touch more forgiveness, but with the new weight system in here, it's a little bit more forward. And now we're actually able to capture even less spin. So we have less spin, that's your speed story. But then with the advanced materials and using more of that in the head, we have even more forgiveness. And that's why it's under this, this 10 umbrella because it trickles down from that 10K max that I spoke about earlier. The big thing, which was really surprising to a lot of customers was they felt as though this might be the, the draw head, right? We don't have a draw head this year. You know, Stealth 2 HD, that really you know, summed it all up. It's that high draw. A lot of customers didn't want to automatically put in, be put into a club that was geared to only hit one type of shot. They didn't want a biased type of head. They wanted a head that was sort of could do it all. And that's where the QI10 Max really has the most play and the most broad reach amongst customers is because it's not set up just to be a draw 
or just to be a forgiving driver or just to be a speed distance driver. It really does do it all. And the other thing was when you create a driver that's just biased towards draw, you actually couldn't get it to 10K. Whenever you put a lot of the weight in the heel of the club, you're actually losing MOI. And so since this is the maximum amount of MOI in a head, we knew that we didn't, we couldn't have it set up just to hit a draw. So that is where we really believe and we're really talking to what's called straight distance. This club wants to go straight. No matter if you fade the ball, you draw the ball. We have players on tour that are actually using this. Colin Morikawa, he hits a fade. Nelly Korda, she hits a draw. This is all about maximizing the forgiveness and maintaining that speed as well. So that's really the best benefit of the Max is that it's an all around, all purpose driver that really everyone should experience and see just how much better they can be.